Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now this week marks the official one year since the pandemic. While things are generally moving into a better direction, there are still few questions we do not know the answer. And one of the main question is how long will our immunity against COVID last? This week I'll provide a quick summary on the new T cell COVID test that could provide an answer to this question in the long run. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. My goal for this channel is to connect people with scientific fact. This includes my regular COVID-19 updates and other science-related topic. My idea is that if I can understand a topic, you can understand. So if you want to know more about scientific facts, please consider subscribing to the channel. This channel needs your help to reach more people. So without further ado, let's dive into today's topic. So like I said at the beginning, today we are going to look at what T-cell test is and how important it is. First, a disclaimer, this video is my interpretation and summary of publicly available scientific information. This video does not serve as any advice on treatment, diagnosis, and prevention of any diseases. And if I mention any commercial company in my videos, I do not have any affiliations with them. Let's take a look at the background information. And on March 5th, 2021, the US FDA just issued a emergency use authorization on a new T cell diagnostic test for COVID and it is called the T detect COVID test. It is a next generation sequencing based test to look for adaptive T cell immune response to the SARS CoV 2 virus. And today we are going to look at first what are T cells and why T cells are important. What are the benefits of this T-detect test? And also, what are the drawbacks of this test? Fact 1. What are T-cells? What are T-cells? And T-cells are also known as T-lymphocytes, and they are one of the major cell type in the adaptive immune system. Actually, there are different T-cells. This include an effector cytotoxic T-cell, which can kill viral infected cells. And the second type is called effector helper T-cell. And these T-cells can activate B-cells to secrete antibodies and also activate macrophages to eat up those pathogens. And another type is generally we collectively call it memory T-cells. And these cells can remember the antigens of the viruses and bacteria, and they can be remain in the blood circulation for decades after a given infection. And they are also responsible for long-term immunity and rapid response to reinfection. So why are T cells important? Currently, the COVID immunity topic is mainly focusing on discussing the availability of a given antibodies against the spike protein. Now, while antibodies are useful, their levels will decrease over time. So the questions remain to be answered are, after recovery from the COVID, how long will the immunity last? How much time can COVID vaccine protect us? And also, will we need COVID vaccine every year now? To answer these questions, first we need to have an ability to quickly know how much T cells in our bloodstream, and this will help us answer some of these questions. Now let's look at why this test can be beneficial to answer these questions. First, it is very, very sensitive, a reported value of 97.1%, meaning they have a very high chance of detecting a previous infection and they are also very specific. This T cell test is better than many of the COVID antibody tests in terms of its sensitivity and it can provide a new option for post-infection monitoring. Now if enough T cell tests are performed in the community, it can provide valuable data to deepen our understanding of the virus and also the disease. And potentially we could get ahead of the pandemic, for example, being able to have some early preventative measure to minimize future outbreaks. 
So this test is very useful, but it is not without drawbacks, and let's look at them. The first drawback of it is being very, very expensive, in my opinion. The test itself costs $150, and there are other fees associated with it, such as test authorization and blood draw. So we are talking about a minimum of about $220, and the worst part is a self-pay cost, currently not covered by any insurance company. Also, this test have a limited availability. It's only available in U.S. states and not even in U.S. territories. And this test is not exactly very quick. Okay, it takes about seven to ten days from the date of shipping of blood samples to get the result. So the overall conclusion for this test, while it is very useful and a novel test, but it have some limit practicality. So the take-home message for this week is that there is a new T-cell COVID test authorized in the U.S. It can look for memory T-cells that is in the bloodstream that could last in recovered patients for decades. And T-cells could provide valuable information on future long-term immunity. And this test has better sensitivity than many current COVID antibody tests but it is very expensive and with limited availability. So it is a good option, but not as practical at this moment. So to learn more, here are the links that I used to prepare for today's presentation. You feel free to check that out. So I hope you learned a little bit more on what T-cells are and this new T-cell COVID test. And that is all for this week, and I'll see you again next Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on another episode of COVID-related topic. And meanwhile, please stay safe and healthy. Bye. Bye.